This is the first annual SMUD Tidy House competition. We thought, we just did a passive house that's very energy efficient. Let's go for this net zero. Net zero means the house produces the energy that it uses. So everything that we do in here, all the cooking, all the heating, we generate the power for that. All day long, I'm storing energy. At night, I tap into my battery banks and it supplies the energy that we need. A lot of what we focused on was uh, keeping water out of the space. It's detailed work that's important and a skill that I have for the rest of my life. What I loved about this class in particular is it's very similar to the real world where you need to work with a lot of different people and a lot of different skill sets. Electrical, wood tech, fab lab, welding, welded, architecture, graphic arts, made signage. We even have merit horticulture involved. So now we're not only collaborating between departments, we're between campuses. That was very exciting. Here we are in a finished space. It's so incredible. What's unusual about our entry is that we have two bedrooms. We actually have three because we designed a lower bed. Someone could sleep there if they had any kind of physical limitations. We're only the only ones here with a ramp and people really appreciated that. People in the Bay Area specifically don't see themselves being able to buy a house. It's too expensive. The next closest thing is maybe building their own little thing. I was born and raised here. They didn't want to get pushed out of the Bay Area. I bought a fixer upper in East Oakland. It's small and it's broken and I'm working to, to fix that. And the tiny house class was ideal for that. You get to do a tiny little bit of everything because the house is small doesn't mean that it doesn't have the same working parts of a larger space. Tiny house costs $30,000 to build. If you had saved that money, you would now own a home. If you get a job in another city, you would take your home with you. I don't know exactly where I want to live just yet. Tiny houses gives you more freedom. Inside, it's very clean. There's not a lot of frills to it. Part of it is very practical, not wanting to get pushed out of an area that they want to live in. Also, cutting out the possessions in your mind space. People start to realize I can have more shiny things and then I have to stay home and polish them and guard them when I could be taking care of myself and my community instead of just polishing my shiny toys. Quality of life is not connected to a number of possessions. You have fewer possessions, you can get nicer ones, you can take better care of them. The tiny house forces that. We got a grant for this from the city of Oakland to build two more tiny houses, um, specifically for homeless relief housing. Probably when I see where this tiny house goes, I'll probably cry, you know, part of me that's going out into the world and providing a house. Like your future at the Peralta Colleges.